Um, hello, and today in this video I'll be um, showcasing my end game bloody stealth commando build in Fallout 76. And I'll I'll start off with um, with weapons, the weapons that I, I use. My main weapon is quite explosive, railway rifle with 15% faster reload. The first two effects are the most important, are quite an explosive on the railway rifle. It can be 50 quid or 25% faster fire rate as well, those work as well, but the bullets don't travel as fast, so that's why I use quite explosive. I use this because it, it's sometimes with Earl because it, it kills him like slightly faster, like about three seconds faster. And in terms of fixes, I have a anti-armor faster fire rate fixer with plus one agility. A um, bloodied explosive fixer with 250 damage resistance while reloading, and um, or occasionally I I use these weapons, not very much though. Uh, and I obviously I use the two-shot gamma gun to get my vads up for the bloody. And for armor, I have unyielding, just a mixed set of unyielding with a couple AP refresh. Yeah. I think three AP refresh I have. Yeah, it's three AP refresh in the armor. Three AP refresh is all you really need. You can get more and you can be slightly better, but and anyway, as for apparel, I have the chemist backpack. Um where is it? Another really important one where it's somewhere here. A shielded Vault 76 jumpsuit, because shielded gives you plus two luck which you need for quit spamming you're on a team and as for the mutations I have adrenal reaction um, bird bones eagle eyes egghead herbivore marsupial speed demon those are all the main ones you want for a bloody stealth commando I wouldn't recommend getting anything else because it can like negatively affect other stuff like accuracy and that with other ones and now for the perks I have Strong back, Barbarian, the Mandalia, Blocker on the Strength, Perception, Master Commando, um, Tank Killer for the Extra Armor Penetration Commando, Expert Commando, Concentrated Fire, uh, Railway Rifle with very useful with Concentrated Fire, Endurance, I have 10, so I have Life Giver, Fire Proof, Radical, and Rejuvenated, Charisma, Field Surgeon, Strange in Numbers, um, and Tenderizer. Uh, intelligence, Nerd Rage, obviously um, your low health, you need Nerd, nerd Rage perk. Demolition Expert for the quite explosive railway rifles, it does even more damage. For Agility, I have Action Boy, um, Covert Operative, Sneak, Escape Artist, Gun Fu, and Adrenaline. As for luck, I have Bloody Mess, Better Criticals, Serendipity, Class Freak, Starch Genes, and Critical Savvy. And in terms of legendary perks, I've got legendary luck, legendary charisma, le follow through, legendary endurance, legendary agility, and legendary strength. And um, if you need to craft ammo, you just swap out one of the like um, special perks for ammo factory. You'll be able to craft heaps of ammo, store it in the ammo box, and yeah, you'll be good. Okay, um, now. With the chems, I take psych attacks. I ran out of um, uh, ballistic bock, but that's only optional. And food buffs, I'm always under the effect of blight soup and tato salad. And if you don't have tato salad, um, don't worry, because you can just make pumpkins. Uh, I think it's is it pumpkin something, pumpkin soup. I could be wrong. It's something to do with pumpkins. Also increases your health, but I just take tato salad because it's easier to farm if you have the recipe. And blight soup increases your um, critical damage so yeah and um, to get blight just go to AM, um, was it? AMS testing site go east there'll be he heaps of blight on the trees equip um, the what's it called again um, the green thumb perk and just collect all the blight and craft the blight soup I think with boiled water and then it's really easy to craft. And as for tato salad, just get um, far, like collect tatoes. I, I've got, I found them on some farm. I can't exactly remember. And just plant them in your camp. Then farm tatoes, milk the Brahmin, the Wayward, and then you can just make the. Oh yeah, with sugar, there's, there's sugar cane here across this thing here. And okay, 
Anyway, now that I've got those that out of the way, I'll show you how powerful this is. It's even more powerful on a team. I'm just showcasing how powerful it is. By yourself. As you can see, that was over a thousand crit in the head. The fix is great with daily ops equipment when you need to be stealthy because it, it does like really good damage to stealth. And that's my anti armor faster fire rate fixer, and my bloody explosive fixer. As you can see, great stealth damage. But events like Scorched Earth, where it forces you out of stealth, uh, at least in my experience, it forces you out of stealth, just use the railway rifle because, um, yeah, because it does more damage outside of stealth. And um, another tip for this build is, if you want to increase your perception, um, either drink Sweetwater Special Blend that you get from uh, the Giant Teapot event, or get, um, yeah, Pumpkin Soup increases your perception, but Pumpkin Pie increases your health, that's it. The so Pumpkin Soup will also increase your perception if you just want to straight away get that without doing the event. Anyway, it's strange. It's why you normally don't kill me, but it doesn't matter. Okay, now, I'll just quickly showcase my other railway that doesn't get used much, the Quad 50 crit. It's, it's very, very similar damage. See, that was like... Dangerous. That was 1,200, around 1,200, 1,300. I think this is about the same. 1400, yeah, the pot explosive does slightly more damage to my. Slightly. But indoors, the crits can kill you if you're point blank playing. Pot explosives, so. Choose the fixer because West Tech, the fixer is always the best because it's dark and dingy in here. And the muties won't find you, won't detect you.
and I'll quickly show you my other weapons that I use sometimes. My, I have a bloody faster fire rate handmade, and um, I just let me go to my stash box. It's in my stash box, bloody where is it? I have a lot more guns in this, but I I dumped a lot of my mule. Anyway, here it is. I know that's it's hot. Wood. It's supposed to be here somewhere. I swear it's here somewhere. Here it is. Uh, the, whenever, the only time I use this weapon, because it's inferior to the fixer in every way except for recoil, which is, mu which is much better than the fixer. And when you're doing daily ops, cloaking daily ops, when you can't just lock on with vats, this one's really good because you can just aim down the sights and shoot it from stealth. But um, that is the only time I use this weapon because the fixer does more damage, has better stealth damage, and is just feels better overall. In my opinion. And, and as for uh, the reason I don't use energy like commando weapons because they just don't have silences on them and they're not as good as a railway. But I occasionally use uh, yeah this one. The ultra sight laser rifle I think after the buff it got um, a slightly better than the standard laser rifle but these ones use way too much AP, so you need really 25% less action point costs on these laser rifle type things. But anyway, oh yeah, one last thing. If you ha if you want to, like, your food, if you want to always be, like, full on food, Nuka Cola candy or Nuka Cola Quantum candy, it's always good just to top it up when you're in the middle of really pure fighter crates. Anyway, that is my um, bloody in-game bloody stealth commando build. And before even trying this build, I recommend dumping all the weapons you don't need on a mule because you can't like it's min-maxed. You can't waste any points like going 15 strength or anything to carry heaps of weight. So yeah, just dump all the unwanted weapons on a mule, and you'll be good to go with this build. So yeah, that is the end of the video. Bye. -bye. Ah!